Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you? Uh, what are their intentions towards you? What do you need to know about how they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. All right, Sagittarius, let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. For Sagittarius and the person that they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about the person that Sagittarius is connecting with at this time? What are they thinking or feeling about Sagittarius? What are they thinking or feeling? When I miss you, I look at photos of you. The path I am on is leading me straight to you. So right away, you're not with this person. Um, they're looking at photos of you because they don't have you around. That seems pretty clear. And they're missing you. What else do we need to know? What else can you tell us, Spirit, about what this person's thinking or feeling when it comes to Sagittarius? they thinking or feeling I wish I had treated you better okay so a bit of regret here from this person bottom of the deck I want to tell you how I feel what else what else can you tell us about what this person is thinking or feeling You tell us what this person's thinking or feeling about Sagittarius. I'm taking a risk. I have a choice to make. I don't want to lose you. Hmm. So they're going to be um, taking a risk here with this, whatever choice this is. I think it's going to be communication. Can I get some insight, please, into this person that Sagittarius is thinking about connecting with? What are their energies, thoughts, feelings towards Sagittarius? What do we need to know about what they're thinking or feeling about Sagittarius? Parting ways. There's a disconnect between you and burdened heart. Yeah, this person is not doing good with the fact that they're not with you. Or that there was a separation between you, that there's a divide between you. Um, moving forward at the bottom of the deck and pure seduction. So I feel like they are um, being drawn to leave a situation. It's almost like there's a pull that's happening here with your person. Yeah, to walk away from something. Walking away after that. Okay. So... Let's look at the tarot. Spirit, what do we need to know? Oops. What do we need to know for Sagittarius? What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Sagittarius? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about what this person's thinking? Or feeling about Sagittarius. Okay, let's see. So what they're thinking or feeling, Page of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Pentacles, their intentions, next actions, Three of Pentacles reverse, Two of Pentacles, they, they haven't decided. Okay, and what do we need to know? Any hidden factors? Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, Reverse. Interesting. Um, bottom of the deck, Two of Swords, Reverse. So I feel like they're getting there. They're getting to that point where they're going to make a decision. A decision that I feel is to walk away from something or um, move on to a different place. Something like that. 
can we get some more insight, please, for Sagittarius? Now, in what they're thinking or feeling, I have the Queen of Pentacles here. And I don't know if this is you. So let's see. What's this Queen of Pentacles doing here, Spirit? What's the Queen of... Seven of Cups, Four of Wands, The Magician, and Page of Swords. So, for, for whatever reason, I'm getting that this person is thinking about the long haul here, like the future in the, like, like the distant future. I'm feeling like this person needs to make a decision. Because right now they can't give to this. Page of Pentacles is reversed here. So that means there's a delayed offer coming. Uh, there's may maybe obstacles that are slowing this offer from coming, but that's a very small offer. And it's reversed, which tells me it's almost like this person, even if the goal were to be like, full-on commitment at some point, even marriage with the Four of Wands, um, I feel like there's a long way to get there. Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? The Moon, Pisces energy. Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Queen of Swords, yeah. So this person, I feel like they would have to, to find out how you feel or talk about something openly and honestly because maybe they haven't talked about this before with the moon. So this would need to be like addressed here or brought to light. Yeah, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this would have to be like I'm feeling like someone that's literally like opening a huge box is what I'm picturing. Like a very big box is being opened. Now there's the Nine of Swords. Now there's fear here. There's fear, anxiety. And I feel it's because they don't know how this is going to go, perhaps. Or there's some other reason that we haven't seen yet. We have the Three of Pentacles reverse. Why why is the Three of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse? Oh, the Tower. What is this? Sagittarius and the Tower, I swear. Keeps coming up for you guys. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. There's that Page of Pentacles again. And the Star. So I feel like the problem here is that there would need to be some sort of healing to this connection. Or this person would have to take a risk. And therefore, they have to have faith that this will work out. But they don't know for sure. Aquarius energy. I feel like this would be a surprise to you. This offer. I'm also getting some of you are dealing with a, a person who has a third party. And that that walking away energy that we saw before, I feel like that's this here. They would have to have a tower in their life. Yeah, look, ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the tower. What can you tell me about this tower? Why is the tower here? Ace of Cups, another, okay. Why is the tower here? Another Ace. Six of Swords, see? It's like they would have to leave a situation behind in order to have this Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. They're tied together. There's the Emperor, Aries energy, then the Five of Swords. Is then the Nine of Cups. So it's almost like they would need to screw someone else over, I feel. Or be very selfish in order to get what they want. 
Why is the Four of Wands here with the Ace of Wands reverse? Why is the Four of Wands here with the Ace of Wands reverse? The High Priestess. I feel like the lack of communication is really slowing things down. I don't think this person has talked to you about this. Tell me about the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Queen of Cups, yeah. It's, be it's because someone's feelings have not been revealed. So how can something move forward? How can this connection move forward if someone is keeping things to themselves, right? Okay, get one more for the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands reverse. Queen of Pentacles shows up again. Seven of Pentacles, Justice, and the King of Swords. It's almost like this person, they don't know if coming forward, being honest, you know, rebalancing the situation, Libra energy with justice, sharing their emotions with you. There's no guarantees. It's, it's like there's anxiety here over the future outcome or how things would be taken. Can I get one more for this Queen of Pentacles? I don't think this Queen of Pentacles is you. I mean, I would love for it to be a symbol of a stable partner, right? Spirit, tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this Queen of Pentacles? Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Seven of Wands, Page of Wands. Interesting. I feel like this person is keeping tabs on you, but they shouldn't be. It's almost like thinking about the future, thinking about communicating. It's like they shouldn't be. Like they, that, that's not right for them to do. Tell me about the Two of Swords reverse. Why is the Two of Swords reverse? Why is the Two of Swords reverse? The Lovers. <laughs> Gemini energy and then the two of wands yeah they would need to choose I feel Be and I feel it's it's two very different paths they're choosing but they haven't they haven't done that yet they haven't made their choice yet it would be a huge risk for them a tower would have to happen which we keep getting this is a I feel a continuation of your well several readings now that we've had for you Sagittarius Feel free to check out your playlist if you want to see those readings. But I feel like clarity must, I mean, this has to happen here with the, the moon and the queen of swords. This needs to take place for this connection to move forward. And it could have been, it could also be that you need to talk about the past. Maybe there hasn't been closure about the, the past. Tell me about this queen of swords. Yeah, Two of Swords. This is what this person is debating with. The Devil Capricorn energy. There's a Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person is de debating talking to you. And that's the problem. You know, the risk is that for them to, to come forward, um, I feel like the past would need to be addressed. And also, whatever's happening in the present that someone needs to walk away from. Maybe this person would have to cut away an attachment of some sort or choose one partner over the other. But I feel like what's making this a little bit difficult for your person is that they miss you. They have regrets when they think about you. Um, I feel like they keep tabs on you. It's like they have access to something. I mean, photos, like maybe social media, like maybe they follow you on social media. And it's like the constant reminder of you, these photos or whatever it is that you have going on that this person knows about. Like they can't help but think about you. And it's affecting, I feel, their life right now. I feel like that's what this burdened heart is all about. The separation is affecting them, you know, negatively. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope it resonated for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing. Um, leave me a comment if you'd like to say hello or if it resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.